It's a beautiful sight. The best way outdoorsman 200, still afloat, well into day five, and we've covered probably about 85, 90 kilometers so far. Oh, I just did. What are you talking about? <laughs> no other way around, was there? We're heading into geeky country. Soon we'll be in the National Park this afternoon, maybe. And there it's a short run to the town. So, just boat's been patched up again. But if you can nurse it through to the gorge, it's got a long, long pool. You can scoot all the way into town. We're on the boundary of the National Park. Geeky Gorge is just a little downstream. Yeah. Looking forward to a nice float through there. We've got an awfully wind pushing us. We've got the flow of the river, which has got stronger every day. Look at it racing past us. It's, uh, you know, it's a fitting end to what's been a hard, hard It's Jeff trying his Mark 1 Packraft sail. We're into Gigi Gorge with a nice black wind. Troubles you can't see where he's going. Lunch on an island in the Fitzroy River. Doing well today. Jeff reckons we've done up to 18 k's, which is pretty amazing for a morning's paddle. Puts us in good time for the bridge tomorrow sometime. Feeling quite knackered today. It's been five full days of trying to paddle this bloody uh, stupid boat, and it's it's feeling like enough. It's been so hot this afternoon, but we're in the we're in the Geeky Gorge. And look at it; it's uh, it's unbelievable. Just a little bit hard to appreciate it at the moment, but. I'm gonna walk, walk for a while while I can because uh, the going is really nice. Actually, as you can see, we're right in the middle of Geeky Gorge. Chris has gone ahead. Um, no idea where we're gonna stop tonight. We can't officially camp in the national park, and we'll see if the rangers waiting for us up ahead. He's probably seen us or heard about us. So anyway, I'm just going to keep on walking and pretty knackered. Back in my boat, testing out a new position. I'm actually quite liking this one. I'm just sort of bow riding and I've got a new means of propulsion. Chris has uh, kindly given me a little tow here towards the end of day five. Yeah, we've got a few clouds building up today. Could be some storms around tonight. If not a downpour. Not what you want when you're sleeping in a mozzie dome. Oh, this is good. I wish I'd done the whole bloody trip like this. Why didn't we think of this five days ago? Look how deep this... Look how far in this one goes. Take us in deep. Okay. It's going deep. Oh yeah. We're going deep. Deep inside the Geeky Gorge. Deep underneath the gorge. Shit. Hang on. Jeez, we've gone in a long way. Did you get 
out. How are you thinking of getting out? Okay, full reverse. Oh, look at the colours. Look at that. looks like in the Geeky Gorge, underneath it, in the caves. And here we are, coming back out again. Look, there's another kayaker up ahead. Another kayaker just up ahead. But they haven't paddled from fucking Mornington. Well done, how long's it taken? We started on Sunday morning. Was it, did you have to drag? Yes, tell me about it. Good on you. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. We're all pleased with ourselves. want to do that trip. Do Off it, you it. go. Get yourself one of these. That would be way too hard, you know. Drag, it. Drag through. Yeah. Hey, same camera. Oh, it's a great camera, isn't it? The old FT2. Oh, it's brilliant. So where are you packing to? Uh, Fitzroy Crossing. You hear it's very nice down there. <laughs> there you go. On your Scupper Pro. Ingrid from Geeky Ranger. <laughs> You've got all shine now. <laughs> come through Geeky Park and camp here on the left side. It's kind of not the park, so we're going to be okay. Anyway, so now, hopefully an easy day on oh, big pools to the bridge. It's all over. We've got to be near the bridge now. We've been going for about four hours. We've got to keep hoping around the next bend. There's a big bridge. No more than wading and quick sanding and can't be far. There it is, a bit to over the bridge, not before time, after a few final episodes of quicksands and dragging the boat. Jeff's a couple of miles upstream, he'll be here later. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed our film about pack rafting down the Fitzroy River. Thanks for watching. I'm back, back to walking and just going to try and cut off some of the corners of the river by sort of straight lining it. Today's getting hotter and hotter. Yesterday they say it got up to 39 or something. So I lost my sunglasses this morning. Lost my trousers last night. Perhaps next I'll lose my mind. Or maybe I already lost it when I thought this would be a good idea. There in the distance is the Fitzroy River Bridge. Yeehaw, we've made it. Six days later. The best way. Not necessarily the best way, but it got me here. Now it's got a couple of new owners. They're gonna have a lot of fun with that. See you guys. Well, I'm up out of the river. That's it. That's my adventure on the Fitzroy. Finished with. Where's that Mr. Scott and my band? <laughs>